What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Got a fun video today. I'm in Pueblo, Colorado and I'm at the headquarters of Boreas Campers. That is right. I, you are looking at a new Boreas Ambassador. So we are here at their headquarters for picking up a brand new 2024 XT Overland trailer that we'll be pulling behind the Bronco. So uh, we drove in last night from South Texas. It was a 16 hour drive. We're stopping to pick it up here and then we're headed straight to California to go put this thing to work. So uh, the guys here have been all hands on deck. Matt and Maggie are the owners and they uh, graciously invited us to be ambassadors for their brand. And we're super stoked to represent them and their trailer. And uh, the guys are doing some last minute touches, getting it all dialed in, ready for us to hook up. And we're gonna, we're gonna put some miles on it the first day we get it. So we're gonna do a little walk around here in a minute, kind of show you what it looks like and what it has to offer. And then, uh, yeah, look out for the next year, putting out some really rad adventures with a new trailer. Boom, here it is, the 2024 XT Boreas Camper. They are, uh, we're draining the tank, they had it filled up. We're gonna winterize it because we're gonna be in some cold weather this evening, but check it out, guys. Look, they got red stripes to match the red Bronco. It's gonna look good going behind them. Behind it going down the road. They got the kitchen back here. We'll do a full walk around full detailed out here in a second, but uh, just a quick little glance at the trailer. Cannot wait to get in this thing. Uh, yeah, storage boxes up front. There's a ton of solar on this thing. Look at the inside. Little hotel room in here. Ugh, so freaking cool. Look at the lighting. Air conditioner. That is unheard of, right? Sick. No more rooftop tent, two inch foam yeah. pads that you see through. Now we got. You guys sleep in this one? Yeah, we're gonna sleep it tonight. Yeah. I don't think we should even put the plastic on. We're gonna use it tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Make it easier. That's a memory foam, right? It is. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's put it in. Let's put it in. Yeah, we're gonna sleep good at camp now. <laughs> Sick. Check it out, babe. No more two inch rooftop tent pads. I got an actual mattress video will like never do justice but like the overall just quality fit finish construction craftsmanship is just absolutely insane on this thing the welds are pretty the paint's pretty the caulking is pretty the seams are pretty the door is solid <laughs> uh, can you guys tell i'm excited i'm super stoked about this up here in the front box all of the goodies and the power. So freaking cool. <laughs> this is the inside. All of the goodies and the power. Little window. Little fridge. Little kitchen. Well, it's not every day you get a forklift to lift stuff up, so. <laughs> They're draining the tanks, but I figure it's a good opportunity to show you guys the underneath. So you can see the frame up front, uh, an additional receiver on like a bike rack or something. All of the wiring and harnesses are all loom, tucked up nice and tight, so you're not gonna rush, uh, you know, know, drag them over things. The water tank, central between the axles, keeping the weight distributed evenly so your hitch weight doesn't change. Uh, of course, you can see the uh, Cruise Master suspension, which is absolutely crazy. That is, uh, that's that stuff's amazing for a trailer. Huge jacks back there to stabilize the whole system. Uh, the, the water tank does have an aluminum skid plate on it. Again, keeping weight nice and low. Everything is recessed inside the bottom frame rails. So again, just overall less risk of dragging and damaging things. Inside, you got your two lithium batteries. Okay. Um, right here, you got your extra solar panel plug. Up here, window design. I know we kind of just touched base on it, but to open the windows, push this little gray button down, push the gray button down. You can open these just a half inch to that slot right there. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then you can open it one click, two clicks, three clicks. You got screen, you got blind. So it's really nice and blue to tie that way. That is cool. <laughs> Deadbolt right here. Um, so you can lock it from inside. Keep the bears out, babe. Yep. Plugging in right here. Solar Just power. a regular extension cord. Okay. 
and that's just going to charge the batteries. Did it once, you got white, yellow, and off. Water fill right here. Okay. It's a 30 gallon water capacity, and that's above a skid plate, so it's all protected. Just stick a hose in there and fill it up. All right. Full size spare tire right here. We've got a little Molly panel on there. So cool. You guys want to add anything to it? Stabilizers off the back. Okay. These will also level. So if you need to pick up the trailer, say you do have a flat, okay. you can jack it up with oh, these as well. Lights, you can dim, you can oh, brighten. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. 110 plugs, you'll need to turn on the inverter to use these okay. when you're not plugged in or even when you're out. 12 volt USBs. Those are enriched through the battery. Don't need the, the 2000 watt inverter on for those. Water pump right here. Water pump is self priming, which okay. means it'll kick on and off as you're using the yeah. water at the campsite. Um, fridge, this will go down to negative eight up to 50. So, again, unlocks there. Cook stove, unlocks. And a little quick release, so one that you screw in yep. over here. Okay. This comes right over here. Boom. Really? I just made it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Genius. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna incinerate everything now. Yeah, exactly. It is nice to be able to cook here out of the woods. Though, yeah. You know. <laughs> um, sink. So water pump needs to be on. Pump the water through the sink. Um, on the back side. You got your gray water drain. Okay. It's got a female lens, that way you can attach a hose to it. To run it out. away it's from not the trailer, pull it yeah. into a bucket, depending on the situation. So, to run the shower, water tank is gonna be on. Okay. Propane is gonna be open. This is heat, this is water pressure. Mm -hmm. Minimum on the heat, because it'll get about 60 to 70 degrees hotter than the temperature of the water in the yeah. tank. So in June, July, you can get scold. <laughs> yeah. This is water pressure. So then I always go kind of minimum on that as well. Conserve water. Yep. And then this has got antifreeze in it, so I'm not going to actually do it. But as you hit it, it gets hot within about 5, 10 seconds. And then just like at home, you can just adjust it to where you want it to be. We do place this right here, so that way you have hot water at the sink as well. Okay. Because there is no hot water through to the, the faucet. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So fenders you can stand on. One thing to be conscious of that I have seen people do is stand on the running lights that step on these and crack, crack them. Gotcha. So just be conscious that there is some lights up there when you're up on the shower enclosure. Just opens up. It's got two little elbow loops and it drops falls down. Yeah. Kind of just seats. scissors. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, 180 on him as well. Yeah. There's straps inside. I, what I do is I bring this side out, strap it down to the chassis. Mm -hmm. the other side I just strap to the lift rack. Okay. On the back side of the entry doors, you do have little stoppers. So if you want to, you can keep it open. That way it doesn't flop in the wind. <laughs> yeah. So inside, it's a lot like the back side. You got your lights. Okay. You can dim. Brighton, USBs, 12 volt, heater right here. All your fuses and breakers are in here and they're all labeled in there as well. They're just regular two blade fuses, the automobile ones. These lights are just little touch screen ones. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. And they're really nice at night when you're just kind of winding down. We've got type C and USB right here, 12 volt right there. Smoke detectors right up there. Um, that runs off its own nine volt batteries, um, just so you know. Down oh yeah. So this is like your command center. This is the in-cab command center for your Victron. You can monitor your whole Victron system from here. It'll tell you exactly what's going on. This is your shore breaker. The multi-plus is your inverter and your battery charger in one. This is nuts. So you do have a remote behind you. Oh yeah, it gets cold here. <laughs> I, the first time we had this on and I was programming it, I wasn't really paying attention. I was in here for maybe 20, 30 minutes. I was shivering when I got it. <laughs> Solar controller. Okay. We'll go over this on the app. That runs up to the ZAMP. And then the two other panels are also tied into it as well. Okay. Yeah, you crawl up there and check it out. 500 watts <laughs> of power charging capability. We have the DC to DC <clears throat> converter in the camper. So all you have to do is just plug your Anderson connector right into your truck to your batteries on your truck and then this will handle the battery charging from the truck. That is awesome. Sick. Uh, app time. Let's do it. 
what you can monitor the camper power on on your phone. So this is really the only one you need because this will tell you your battery uh, state of charge, your current battery voltage, well DC voltage, uh, DC current going through the system. So if you're plus, you're putting in. So solar right now yeah. is putting in, shore is putting in. If you're negative, you're drawing power. Uh, just power in watts, consumed amp hours, and a time remaining. Because we're charging right now, there's not going to be a, a number right here. So you're drawing more power, this number will go down. Yeah. If you're putting in, it just zeroes out the number. Yeah. yeah.